Good evening and welcome back and hope everyone's doing well. So this time, another Indiana Jones video. This time I'm going to do my top 10 favorite characters of the Indiana Jones franchise. So to kick things off, number 10, Walter Donovan. This is a villain who basically gets Indy and gets him to go on the quest, basically start off the quest for the Holy Grail after explaining to him that his father has disappeared and then to turn against Indy, basically. So overall, and Julian Glover plays this role very well. Absolutely like this performance in this film. So absolutely a kicker there. So yeah, overall, pretty good solid start for the top 10 right there. Number nine is Molaram from the Temple of Doom. This is an insane villain. And this was just very well done. I mean, very dark tone, but it was very well done, though. And he he's hungry for power, too. Absolutely. The Sankara Stones turns Indy bad with the blood of the Kali. And yeah, so overall, his villainy is well executed. And overall, kind of underrated, too, I must say. So... Without a doubt. And he was definitely one of the better characters in the movie. Without a doubt. So yeah, Molaram number nine. Number eight, sticking with Temple of Doom. Short round. He's, he is a very good sidekick for Indy. Knows how to fight despite his age and height. Knows how to drive. Gotta give him credit. And he helps Indy. He actually saves Indy from the Blood of the Kali spell. So basically, yeah. Besides Indy, Molaram, Short Round was a big part of that movie. And he absolutely deserves the credit. Hands down. So yeah, Short Round, number eight. Number seven, Dr. Elsa Schneider from Last Crusade. Fine looking lady. Very fine looking. Absolutely attractive. I can see why Indy went for her. But then again, of course, starts off very good. Helping in, joining Indy on the conquest. Then, of course, turns against him to join the Nazi. Basically, was a Nazi. Even his dad knew it. That's just some kind of twist. But you can tell she still felt something for Indy. So, overall, this was a very good female casting. Great um, character there. So, overall, yes, I absolutely love her. So, number five is Belloc first villain from Raiders of the Lost Ark and absolutely loved Paul Freeman's performance as the character and this character is great because there's definitely a rivalry between him and Indy they both want the prized possession even if it's for different reasons but still I love the rivalry between him and Indy and I love the interactions between him and Indy and yeah, it all works out very, very well. Which is the reason why Raiders of the Lost Ark was really well executed. Wait, I missed number six. That is Marcus Brody. And as a result, I like his character as well. And also, I like how he gets into the assignments. He shows up at the universities in both Raiders and Last Crusade. I liked him a lot more in Last Crusade because he has more of a role he has some really good lines in the film and you can definitely see where him and his dad get along Indy's dad get along really well and yeah you definitely feel for Marcus Brody in The Last Crusade and yeah poor it, and Indy sticks him out like a sore thumb unfortunately in The Last Crusade but Overall, I like his performance there. So now, number four is Sala, Indy's loyal friend from both Raiders of the Lost Ark and Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. He is great in both films. Absolutely love his character. He delivers some good lines. He does have some humor in there. So overall, Sala 
definitely a trustworthy friend for Indy. And I do like that they got his character along the, down the line for Disneyland to do the safety video, basically, of the ride. And it was just very fun to listen to his voice again. So overall, Sala, John Rhys-Davies, I mean, this is easily his best performance as Sala in both Raiders of the Lost Ark and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So, I mean, he's easily probably my favorite, one of my favorite sidekicks, hands down. There. Number three, Marion Ravenwood, the best female lead of the franchise. I mean, you definitely know there was a history between her and Indy because she was in love with Indy, but of course, falling out between Marion's dad and Indy led to despair, and you can see why Marion has some kind of distaste for him, for Indy, but then also realizes, no, nope, she's still in love with him. So overall, I loved how the character, the chemistry between her and Indy worked out in Raiders, and then they brought her back for Crystal Skull, which I thought was one of the few bright spots for that film, because when I heard they were bringing back female character lead, I was praying and hoping it was Marion Ravenwood, and to know that Karen Allen was returning for that, I was very happy. So yes, absolutely loved Karen Allen as Marion Ravenwood. I mean, easily the best female lead of the franchise. So number two is Henry Jones Sr., aka Indiana Jones' father. Sean Connery just nails this role. I mean, great casting, great acting, great portrayal. I mean, this worked really well, and I love the chemistry between him and Indy. I mean, this is just monster. I mean, they did the right thing right there. James Bond himself as Indiana Jones' father, I mean, that was just genius right there from Lucas and Spielberg. I mean, you could not have asked for a better performance at all. And he, has, he says some of the best lines in The Last Crusade. I mean, he made The Last Crusade better. Absolutely. I mean, probably the reason why I put Last Crusade as my favorite is mainly because of Sean Connery and the chemistry between him and Harrison Ford was just well done. Well done right there. And of course, number one, no surprise, Indiana Jones himself. I mean, Harrison Ford, this is probably my favorite role from him, is Indiana Jones himself. I mean, I love his um, search for the artifacts, his willingness to fight through the enemies, to get by whatever it takes to accomplish his missions. I mean, this is a hero. And an archaeologist at the same time. He does both roles so well both parts so well I mean this is a character who has great energy and down the line I hope this next film they do th goes very well I definitely want to see it so definitely Indiana Jones is probably easily my favorite franchise hands down I mean yeah I can make an argument for Star Wars but Indiana Jones is number one so yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, back again soon, feel free to like and subscribe.